Hello Splatsins, welcome back. Doom Eternal is one of the best games of our generation, I think that's not an understatement. Its combat design is fucking phenomenal, it grabs you from the ass and never lets you go, and its history, its story, its lore is full of cool characters, cool antagonists, badass moments, and a lot. A lot of mysteries, my friends. Mysteries that are yet to be explored. Like for example, who is the wretch? In the lore of Doom 2016, the wretch was a traitorous demon that gave the Doomslayer his enchanted Praetor suit, which basically gave him the ability to heal and become more powerful the more demonic entities he destroyed. If that's not overpowered, then I do not know what it is. Another example. Where did the Voth came from? Who is the true god in the universe of Doom? As you guys know, the Voth is not actually the true one god, the one being above all in the in the uh, uh, in the lore of Doom. He is not. The Voth came from somewhere. He's basically a fallen angel. Who is the true god in the universe of Doom? Where did the Voth came from? Maybe we will explore that in the next Doom game or somewhere along the lines. But Yes, it is quite a mystery. The thing I'm trying to say is that people adore the lore of Doom Eternal. I do myself, and a lot of people do as well. The lore is really pinche camioneta, o sea, o es una moto o es un camión, o sea, decidanse. They find it fascinating, they find it interesting, and I do as well. I see a lot of people compare the lore of Doom Eternal, its story, to the one of Halo, to the one of Warhammer 40k, and say that the lore of Doom is not as developed as the one of those games, Halo and Warhammer. And to that, I say that Warhammer 40k and Halo have been developing their stories, their universes, for more than two two decades, and Doom Eternal, or Doom in general, has been developing its story, its universe, for only five years, as this story began in 2016. Yes, Doom began in 1993, but as John Carmack said, they cared more about the gameplay than the story, which is fine given the time, but this is 2021. Right now, video games are expected to have a cool story and cool gameplay. They both need to come in the package. Unless you are new blood and can make games like Dusk, Amid Evil, etc. Those games are fantastic, play them actually. Chef's kiss. Now it is my pleasure to announce that Doom Eternal is getting more story more lore. Not in the format you might want. We are not getting a new DLC, we are not getting more cutscenes and the like. The way we're going to get this new story of Doom Eternal is via codex entries. Actually, fun fact, the codex entries from Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal were inspired by the Bible, so basically Doom is actually the most Christian game in video game industry. And this new story has been known for a while, not so long ago. Ago, I think it was five months in the past, uh, I did an interview with Hugo Martin, the game director of Doom Eternal, and he mentioned that, that they wanted to make an illustrated Doom Bible, which is basically a comic book of illustrations telling a new story of the game. And in that regard, that's the way Hugo Martin wants to tie some of the important events of the Doom universe, of the Doom story, to Doom 2016, to Doom Eternal. Hey man, if you like Doom, subscribe and leave a like right now. I'm going to explore that comic book and its lore quite extensively, so subscribe right now. Thank you. If I was to describe the story of Doom as a manga, I would say that Doom 2016 began in chapter 50 and it ended in chapter 59, and Doom Eternal began in chapter 79 and it ended in chapter 92, with each game referencing parts of chapter 20 or chapter 10 that happened in the past. Truth be told, we haven't even explored like 5% of the whole Doom universe. Yes, we did play Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, we explored the whole game, but the things they mentioned in the codex entries, like the Titans, like the Night Sentinels, like the Wretch, like the true god of the universe, like what happened when Doom Guy arrived to Arjun Denur, his time in Arjun Denur, how he became the Slayer, how he killed some guy, how he got the coin to kill Digny Lux, how he blah 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 blah, I mean, they mention a lot of things in the codex entries that we haven't even saw or seen, and Hugo Martin wants to explore some of these things in this new Doom illustrated bible comic book. Uh, and uh, some pretty cool 
uh, some pretty cool stuff coming. We'll we'll see uh, we'll see how stuff develops, and we might have some interesting things to announce at the next stream. Ooh. We'll talk to Marty about it and a couple okay. things, but okay. with related to lore and that specifically. Love so, uh, Hugo, when will we get a Dai Katana remaster? Josh, when are we going to get a Dai Katana remaster? Now, disclaimer, do not expect like a full-on 200 pages comic book with a lot of illustrations and some sick-ass new lore. By my understanding, and it is TBD actually, it's to be disclosed or to be announced, this comic book is going to contain like at the most 20 pages of new lore and they are going to be illustrated like codex entries from the game with paragraphs of text or something along those lines. Yes my friend I would prefer to have a full on 200 pages comic book of new lore because I like to read it and I find the lore of Doom fascinating I want to know a lot of things so maybe just maybe if this comic book is actually a hit maybe it software is going to continue making more comic books for the story and explore the stories of Doom that they cannot make into a video game. That's the thing, that's the important thing in this whole issue. Well, not issue, in this topic, because it is not a problem, I mean, we're getting more story, that's awesome. There are a lot of stories I want each software to explore in the Doom universe, but in this comic book specifically, I want them to explore the stories that they cannot make into a video game. Like, for example, what happened between Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Hugo Martin has said that they cannot make that story into a video game, so please explore that portion of the story in this comic book. Also, what happened when the Doom Slayer was basically isekai into Orange and Denner and went from an outlander to slave of the Sentinel Society to a Night Sentinel to full on the Slayer? That story, that part of the story of Doom, fascinates me a lot. Seeing Doom Guy coming to Orange and Denner all fucked up, full of wounds, getting into the Coliseum, fucking with everyone, then being sent to the battlefield as this mad lad, this guy that wants to kill the demons, coming back every single time, to becoming a Night Sentinel, being trained by the Sentinel Society, being trained by Commander Veling himself, and then becoming the Doomslayer at the Siege of Terrors the Bad. Or also the invasion of Hell on Earth changed the perspective of the Doomslayer to a simple grunt, a marine from the UAC Corporation. In conclusion, my friends, there are a lot of stories that it suffer can explore in this comic book, and I am actually very excited for it. I do not know if it's going to be full on digital, or we can get a physical copy of it, but if we can, I'm going to buy it because, come on, it's Doom lore. I love Doom lore. But anyways, my friends, Thanks for watching this video and have an awesome day. Adios. Bye.